Hello everyone. I have uh, unexpectedly taken a week or off or so. I'm in the eye tunnel. Um, I started school back with my kids and because of that, got a little busy understandably and we homeschool and just haven't, ooh, had, um, haven't quite adjusted from to going back to school and filming things. So I thought I'd shoot a real quick video, just kind of like a little glimpse into the high tunnel. Um, I wanted to show you the tobacco. <laughs> a lot of you were interested in that and it is, oh, look at these beauties. I think these are the chocolate cherry. Nope, these are the blueberries. Oh, can you see them? I can't tell with this camera. So I'm not like the biggest tomato lover, which is funny because I have like three tomatoes growing here, but. Oh, yes. But I'm trying to make myself like them. But I do love every tomato product. You might think, well, why would one grow 300 tomatoes if they don't like tomatoes? It's because I like tomato products. We use a lot of sauce or a sauce family. Um, I did not like that one. I don't think it was right. I did eat one that I didn't mind the other day, but I like the sauce. I like the salsa. I like all the things. Oh, pretty flowers. I got to take you back here. These are blushing down here. I don't know what these are. I have the tags in here, but it's like a freaking jungle. I, was, I wanted to show you my San Marzano's because they just blow and Anyway, we're just loaded with tomatoes. Hi, beauties. Tobacco. Flowers. Look at these. Oh my stars. But the backs are the prettiest. They're like very, very fall-esque. So these are starting to fall over actually. So I did my research because few of you had some questions about tobacco and what varieties. This is the Nicotina, I don't know, I got it from Baker Creek, rareseeds.com. And obviously the germination was great. I even, um, I would say this is a very forgiving plant because I neglected it. It was in a tiny tray for a really long time. And I really thought it was deader than a doornail. And when I was out planting my tomatoes, I was like, oh, I'm just going to throw these sad seedlings in the ground and see what happens. This is why you don't just compost your seedlings if they're doing bad like you neglected them because you just never know so i'm going to tell you some information i found out about this there are different varieties okay it's not your traditional tobacco like what they would be growing in virginia or west virginia or something tennessee back in the day there's a lot of special varieties that get way bigger more this is going to be like your more traditional um i think they said this is what the native americans grew and this is what thomas jefferson grew when he came over as well and we had a gal over here that works on a big she worked on a big permaculture farm and she was saying that they would plant tobacco at the end of every market row so that way when they got stung by a bee they would just make a poultice like chew up a piece of the leaf and put it on their sting and it would ease the pain so that is something medicinally you can do with tobacco but also you would i bet our plants would have got way bigger if i was taking the flowers off but i'm using it to save seed and it is not illegal oh i forgot it is not illegal to grow tobacco but it is illegal to sell it or what have you so don't do that well as like me to sell it to somebody would be illegal but what I have learned, say you were to smoke this plant, you the, wait for the leaves on the bottom to start turning. My twins are learning how to make different things. So the leaves, once they start yellowing, which I think I have a couple starting to yellow, you pull them off and you stack them to dry them and you kind of rotate them daily to dry and you don't want them to get like crunchy like you would with a tea leaf you want it to get leathery like leather 
and then the from my understanding the higher up the plant is the more to nicotine in the leaves so they become higher quality so i have really no idea but this is i guess i do have a little bit idea because i did some research watched some youtube videos and just kind of learned that so anyway it's a good thing resource to have if you like it you know what's in it if you like to do whatever i don't know guys the flowers are beautiful i think that they are and they smell just oh they smell so sweet and so amazing they smell so sweet i don't know how to describe it but aren't they just gorgeous and i did hear that the leaves will have um we do have some pests on these guys starting we didn't have any pests before and the leaves I hear do have nicotine on them, so you really want to wash your hands or wear gloves when handling them. Okay, so there's my little tidbit of knowledge. But other than that, let's just go over here because I wanted to show you. We've been putting up hoops. We're getting ready for, well, fall and winter. Well, we're getting ready for fall to extend our season in the high tunnel. So we have hoops. We got frost cover ready at each between each row to get ready to just throw it over the hoops. And that reminds me, I still need clips. I wanted to get some clips to hold it down. And then we'll just batten down the hatches. We'll put down the, the door, we'll pull down the sides. I took the shade cloth off today. It's September 1st and we haven't had a frost in August, which is a really awesome thing. We get a frost all year round. And I'm really hoping to extend the life of these plants. And with today was pushing 100 degrees, tomorrow's pushing 100 degrees. And with these hot days, I'm just really hoping to prolong the life of my plants. We do drop this weekend to like low 80s, which does concern me. But Lord willing, we won't get a frost at night. And they should be relatively safe in the high tunnel. But I might just throw frost. If we're projected to get 36, so say it's a low of 36 that the like any weather station's predicting, we're gonna drop below freezing easily. So they can't quite. You just kind of have to uh, figure it out and know. We were thought we might get one last week, so which is why we had the hoops up. I think these will do really well to extend it. And as it gets colder, the beefier our extension will get. We'll put plastic instead of frost cover or I have no idea maybe we'll put frost cover under the plastic and then even if it gets if it starts to get really cold then like we'll put I'll bring out some heaters if I have to because I'm not letting these tomatoes go bad on me because they're just in, so let me show you my sandwich we, so because of the hoops we flipped we got a lot of them up in the beds where they're supposed to be and it re we were just shocked when i say we it's me and my well just some of the people that come out and help us on tuesdays and we were just like holy crap these plants are loaded so i'm just gonna take you so here are some they're just like all up in here guys they're start this one's starting to blush which is good good sign i was really hoping with that shade cloth off that they would guys i mean i'm telling you guys they're just loaded in here. <laughs> Hello, you coming a long way? Here we have a different variety coming in. So. entire row is just like that and then my romas are that way too and we have some indeterminates on the other side i got a lot more san marzanos that are falling over to the other side too um this is crazy if we we're going to be loaded with salsa and sauce and that's good you got to go with what and put up what is doing good because you don't know what might not do good a couple days ago no it was like was it sunday i went in saturday i went into my garden i was just in there on friday saturday went in to my big garden my market garden and i a herd of deer broke through my gate 
just broke through the whole thing. It's like when I planted and did all that work and we've been weeding and nurturing them for months and months and months, over half a year. And when it's close to harvest, they come and rip it up. It's very disheartening. And I was doing good with my aunt and my cousin. I was telling, and then I was like, I gotta go tell Trey. So I went inside and I was telling him, I just start crying. I just like, the destruction, and maybe I'll show you in another video. It's still pretty raw, guys. I'm about to tear up right now. The destruction that happened in one night was enough to break your heart. So, um, I'm really praying that this is going to be our bumper crop this year and the onions lord willing will be as well and the leeks but and even the carrots still but they decimate it i'll show you in the next video when it's a little less raw or one of these videos coming up but this is very hopeful to me and so i'm going to do everything in my willpower to get this garden or this high tunnel and these tomatoes ripe. <laughs> and to see those San Marzano's blushing is very fortunate because it means that there is hope. Because once they're blushing, you could bring them in and they will ripen on your counter. Preferably, I'd like to ripen them out here, but I'm gonna do everything to get them going and make it my bumper crop, Lord willing. And so you just never know up until you harvest it and bring it in. You don't know what could happen. A deer could break in and decimate your entire crop. There's a little update for you guys. Be praying for my tomatoes. <laughs> that they make it through. I believe in them. So the deer are tenacious and ag very aggressive. They will charge you right now. They are crazy. I feel like they're ravaging sooner than they should be. And we I don't know. We'll see. Is this going to be an early winter? I have no idea. Feels like it. Feels like it. My dog's already getting her winter coat on, which seems weird because it's been hot, but she is fluffy. Uh, one of these days I'll get better at telling you I was going to take a break than actually just telling you once I got back. But here we are. School happens. We start school earlier. A lot of schools start after Labor Day here, but we do it smidge early just because I am like a kid between November and December. Well, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> between, I'm like a kid between Thanksgiving and Christmas where I don't want to do school either. I want to play in the snow, watch Christmas movies, make goodies. Unfortunately, goodies don't last very long in my house because I got three boys that'll just mow them through. So that's good. So you can keep making new goodies and don't have to worry about overindulging because you're just lucky if you get a cookie one <laughs> but I'm like a kid between those times I just can't concentrate so we do a lighter load we'll still do like reading and a little bit of math and our our history curriculum I'm gonna do like a really awesome one for Thanksgiving time like American history and then I was thinking I would do a really awesome biblical history around Christmas time which I think is fitting so Thank you guys for watching and following along with this rando update. Sorry to tell you about my garden. It was sad for me to find out about it. So I knew you would commiserate with me. And I'll show it to you. Dog face boys. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys. Right, I'll give you a peek of one sad, sad row. That is the worst one, but oh, dang deer, dang freaking deer.